and hello, hello. Welcome and welcome in. This is Magi. We're playing Dome Keeper today, which uh, we haven't played in a week, or rather, it's been a week since I last uploaded something on it. We're going to play with the artillery drone, a uh, dome, the drone yard, the assessor, uh, on brutal difficulty, relic hunt mode on a large map. We're just going to start the run. And I wanted to showcase the assessor a little bit, but also the artillery drum, a dome, which has a drum. I don't know why I want to keep saying drum, but the artillery dome has a mortar and is pretty cool. And also has a machine gun. And this guy, the assessor, has fun little tools like, like this. Lovely. We'll just chug in these. Items. And move over. going to a battle and now you can see the full power of a lovely mortar cannon I'm gonna go into the upgrades real quick and upgrades thank you thank you get the wave meter for now um we can get more improve your gravity generator to move faster increase the reload time to improve the power of the kinetic spheres uh, show a marker directly below the dome to indicate where you sh uh, where to shoot bundles upwards um, we can get the number up. Let's do that for now. Um, ignore rock density and mine at a constant speed. Oh, I'll take that. Improve how quickly rock is mined. And then for the artillery, we can upgrade the monster buster over volatile explosives, basically making it we fire shells specialized in direct hits or large blast radius. We also have the improved anti-air gun right there, and we can upgrade transport drones right now without any water needed. Basically, if we get some more, we can get the battle grid unlock as well. So this is gonna be fantastic. We're just going to mine this way for a little bit. I guess these will help us up, out a bunch. With getting through these layers a bit quicker. Fantastic. Just gonna go through these layers. I'm gonna go directly below this one. That's a bit unlucky. I thought we could shoot 
Better. Uh, we're gonna unlock real quick the battle great drones so that they'll shoot at stuff from Baludia. What are our drones doing? Well, nothing right now, actually. Let the drones do the work for once. Because we've been doing a lot of heavy lifting here. That's fantastic that there's a wall like that over there. We'll just go down here and send our kinetic spheres this way and perhaps we'll go over here do it again and just collect some water oh got some cobalt over there too I was like, eh, do I need, do I need me uh, to help? And I guess the answer was no. Let's head down. Take care of this. And as it turns out, we've got more iron this way. So I'll just take care of that real quick. And then we'll just chop this block into smaller blocks so that we can see if there's any ores in that area. In fact, there is some ore right here. gonna bring this stuff over as well okay fantastic uh, let's get a health meter for now and then upgrade our movement or kinetic spheres base damage is going to be pretty nice and then also get this upgrade and that upgrade so that we can get a better bundle guidance enable directional control of a drop bundle at a close range cool i don't know what that means but we should be faster and stronger and there's a line here that's useful Fantastic. Head this way. And we'll just mine a bunch. I don't know. I've been enjoying Domekeeper here in there a fair bit. A while ago, it was like if you didn't use optimal strats in a way, you were kind of trolling. But I'm glad it's no longer uh, like that with the rock layers being... When I say a while ago, it was like right after the release, I guess. Kind of. Um, I'm glad it's no longer like that. Well, that one's gonna float for a while.
Here we go. We probably should upgrade our drones again. Just to carry stuff a bit faster and then not bother with it personally, you know. Quick drones or long-lasting drones. Interesting. More drones in quicker succession. I guess it doesn't matter too much. I think we need to upgrade our thing actually more often. Our cannons. Heading this way. That should automatically get mined out, just like that. And we'll take care of this. And we'll take care of this. And we'll take care of this layer as well. Just have those transported upwards, I guess. Oh, nice. This is also just something that we can bundle up. Are we taking damage again? Probably, right? Yeah. Missile launcher. Underground station. I'll take the underground station. It's funny. After all. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab the... Volatile explosions for a bigger radius and the improved anti air gun. And then adaptive wave warner, inventory management, cycle counter, and exit route. Ooh, that's much bigger. Actually, let's get into the upgrades real quick because there should be one over here for the station with the rock scan. Rock scan. You don't have to. You know, you know. This is very nice. That's the whole reason why I have this. Because it's, um... Like, we're doing okay in combat, you know? It's wave 7, we haven't taken too m We have taken a lot of damage, to be fair. But it's not too much, like, you know? I think it's okay still. I'd love to get the upgrade that allows me to upgrade from within that station. Here we go. Okay, wave started. Sending all of this back up. Upgrades. Um, we can upgrade the explosions to have a faster rotation or double shell. Double shell seems pretty darn nice, but we can't get it. So instead we'll just get this.
Lovely. We can go into the upgrades real quick and check for the high-res display and remote upgrades. Remote upgrades is going to improve our efficiency a fair bit because we don't have to go all the way back up for that, you know. Alrighty. We'll just send this out. Here, like this. Look at that big chunk of metal just waiting to be mined via the power of kinetic spheres. And we'll go all the way back up again because it's easier to see what's in the battlefield, you know, from over here. And we can go into upgrades real quick and check for sphere supply, sphere lifetime. Oh, so that's pretty nice. And reflection field, explode spheres or split spheres. Cool. Uh, bundle guidance, enable directional control of a drop bundle at a close range. I don't know what that means. You know, I can't understand what it's saying to me. Can you speak in a language that I can compute, please? Uh, let's go with quick drones. And instant drones, release all drones very quickly. Having them ready at the beginning of a battle seems pretty good. Probably. Um, what I do want before that, though, is an upgrade to our health. And then we've got seven left, you know. Uh, we could upgrade some of those things up there, but I don't know. I feel like high-res display is pretty nice when we're down in the mines. Um, having the... Extra drones is not something we can do right now, but what we can do is we can get more spheres. Fantastic. All right, we'll do something a bit odd. Uh, I know there's a lot of metal down there and stuff, but there's bound to be more over here, you know? So we'll just use our spheres to play breakout in this section of the mine. Yeah, see, there's more. Told you so. And we've got some drones, and they'll just take care of these. Ooh. I don't know what that is, but we need one more iron. I think we had one of these before, I don't know. Yeah, it's the extra vision thing. Fantastic. We can go into upgrades. Uh, do we have anything of... Sphere lifetime is pretty good. Let's grab that. <laughs> having, having an earworm. Um, I don't know. Lady, I've been waiting. Mm 
battle. Nice, didn't take any damage there. And as a result, we can get more transport drones actually. Make them a bit quicker too. And now this will be pretty helpful. Ooh. And we'll just mine like so. And like so. Gonna take care of this here. And simply mine out all of these resources. We, uh, our drones are gonna take care of a lot, a lot of them. But if we just send a bunch up, they'll get taken care of. Alrighty. If we're going to the upgrades now, we can get more health too. And it seems that we've uncovered something over here. And I think it's going to be another upgrade. No, it's actually the cable. That was pretty quick. And as we're well aware of it, we're not going to get our hopes high for just, you know, the final wave or something. I don't know. But there's an upgrade here as well. Instead, we'll just, uh, we'll do our best, you know. It doesn't appear like the drones are making their way down here. We'll take care of this. Uh, like, they are, they, they are making their way. It's just, they're, they're kind of slow. That's all there is to it. Iron worms and teleporter. Um, we'll go with the iron worms, I guess. And while we're up here, we can get quick worms or diligent worms. We can't get either. But what we can do is we can drop this all the way down, I guess. And then they'll extract the more iron, you know? There's gonna be a lot of iron here. It is some. We'll see how it goes. As we go deeper here.
We definitely have to upgrade our uh, machine gun. It doesn't seem like the damage is going up there. Hoping rockets and fast fire are the upgrades for that. You can go for double shells and have either wide rotation or volatile explosives. Then we can have later swift reload or quadruple shell, which sounds pretty amazing. Don't get me wrong, but like, I don't know if we will need it really all that much. Seems like we've got some iron down there. Oh, that's fantastic. Definitely great. Actually, get the upgrades and make them diligent worms. I'm not sure if this one's going to be diligent. You know, it seems pretty diligent to me. You know, he's not as fast as the ones we had a while ago. Perfect placement. Have a sphere fly for 23 seconds or more without reflecting it as assessor. Cool. go down here. And what I essentially want to do is go below this so that we can... Ooh, nice. Essentially make it go quick, you know. Um, I'll take the speed and try to make it all the way up there. Very, very quickly. So that we can toss a worm down. Uh, get some upgrades to heal. Okay, eggy, eggy, egg. We've got some iron down here. Also have some iron over here. Might as well take care of that real quick. Is it seriously or not? Oh, there we go. I got it. All is good. What was I concerned about? Nice. There seems to be another button. Yes. Going to upgrades and see if we can maybe increase the uh, bundle speed. Yes.
Here we go. Take care of you. Fantastic. So I have to go all the way down here, I want them to go for the other things over here. All the other buttons. All the other buttons. Where did they come from? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Just quickly mine through this. And that. And then we'll just have to worry about the buttons over here. There's four of them. After all. And we'll just have to go through them all. You know, we'll have to find them all to activate the lock. There's one of them. Reflection explodes for you. Detonate every spear in your vicinity, releasing their stored kinetic energy. Or split it. Let's go with detonation and then improved the explosion. As well as gravity center. A bundle shot towards the center of the mine will stop directly under the dome instead of continuing to fly. Uh, sure. And then powerful bundle. Bundle lifetime is 300 seconds and bundle speed is 80. Ooh, that sounds nice. Uh, we can increase the sphere lifetime too. Uh... And the supply, but all right. Nice. That was very good. I like the exploding spheres. Okay, we'll just take this. Move this up. And all of this should fly up now.
Oh, that's a very nice one to have. I like the worms. I would take the worms again. To be honest, they give us a lot of iron after all. Um, maybe we can upgrade our... Ooh, double shell. I'll take it. I'll take the double shell. Fantastic. Can we make this fruit, uh, make it through this wave? I'd like to see us try. Game's been lagging a little bit. I don't know why it's been doing that. Maybe I need to restart my computer. But hey, that was a run. Pretty successful if you assess all. And the mortar drum. Mortar drum, pretty nice. I like it. New world unlocked. Cool. Let me sh sh show me the mine. Actually, no. Show me the time lapse. Much better. Uh, we definitely missed a lot of stuff, but thanks to the uh, pocket base and thanks to the other one, uh, other thing, you know, we didn't really care at all that much about the resources we left out here on the left and the right. Because we had just so much iron thanks to the um, worms, the diligent worms, you know, they're not as quick as the other ones, but it's still fine. Anyways, with that said, Oh, no, I didn't want to start another run. Oh, it puts me over here. That's all good. Unlocked a new world, which is just like a new map, basically. And next up, we'll try out the Tesla Dome. I don't know why the game has been struggling. Um, maybe I'll fix uh, that by next time. In the round itself, we didn't notice too much. It was just in the final wave, I guess. And... Yeah. Anyways, um... Uh... I wanted to showcase the Tesla Dome next. I like the drone yard so much because we get the combat drones mostly, even as the assessor who doesn't really need the drones. Um, that said, if you want me to play some other um, gadget combination, let me know. Next time we'll, we'll play around with the Tesla Dome. And uh, yeah, I'll see you around. If you haven't yet, Go check out the links in the description. There's the Steam page for this game, as well as my socials and stuff like that. Coming out the streams, if you haven't yet. And, uh, yeah. Don't keep it has been fun. If you'd like to see more, if you'd like to see some of me playing other games, you know, just let me know. I'll see you around. Until next time. Bye-bye.